Okay, this is an app by Dr. Gary Brown, and uh, it's discrete trial training uh, for children with autism, and it's uh, dis it's about shapes and um, discriminating between different shapes. So teaching discriminations between shapes is easier if only two shapes are used in the beginning. Too many stimuli confuse and even disorient the child with autism. Choose two shapes from the menu. Start with the easiest discriminations first. For example, the difference between square and circle should be easier to learn than the difference between square and rectangle. Run blocks of 10 trials with a short inter-trial interval, time between the trials. If the child has problems paying attention, add a longer interval if the child can stay on task easily. Give a child a tangible reinforcer such as a half a Fruit Loop, a Cheerio, a small piece of pretzel and praise the child for each correct answer. Use the fade button and point to the correct shape if any child is having problems, making the discrimination and several blocks after several blocks of trials. Once your child is able to distinguish between two shapes, add another incorrect shape and continue on to run blocks of trials until the discrimination is learned. Be patient and don't add additional shapes until your child has learned the shapes that you are working on. Do not force your child to do DTT and give plenty of rest periods. Make a game out of it and have fun as your child is learning shapes. So let's go ahead and open this up. I hope that gives a little bit of an idea of what it's about. And um, when we come to the screen, we'll enter, we enter our child's name. And what it recommended was we try to uh, learn between a circle and uh, a square. So on the left hand side you have the correct shapes. You can scroll through them and they get a little bit more complex as you go down. And on the right hand side you have the incorrect shapes. So we have uh, highlighted the correct shape as a circle and the incorrect shape as a square. We can have solid shapes, outline shapes and object sets one, I'm going to show you the difference now. Uh, well, when we go into that, I'll show you the difference. Maximum time trial is uh, 60 seconds, goes all the way down uh, to almost nothing and comes back up to 60, depending on how long you want to give the child to, uh, to work on the problem. Um, the time in between asking questions. Uh, again, you can enter this uh, in this box here. Put that down. But you can enter the time in here. You can actually move the um, counter up like this up to 90 seconds and all the way back down. We'll try to leave it on uh, a low number. We'll leave it on three seconds to go through this. The number of cards you can also change from two all the way up to ten. And again, I'll show you an example. So let's start this on two cards. We'll leave the fade button on and I'll show you how that works, but practice shapes. Um, so this basically just opens up a screen and you can change this from light to dark and dark to light. We'll leave it on light, uh, but practice the shapes. Hard, diamond, circle, star, triangle. So you get the idea of that. So they can get familiar with the shapes uh, beforehand before you even get into the program. Now you've got solid shapes, outline shapes, and object sets. Uh, let's go ahead and start the trial. And we've got this as um, solid, solid shapes. So obviously we're trying to find the circle or discriminate between the circle and the other shape, which is a square. Yes, cool beans. Now if I go back out, I just want to show you, uh, we'll go to outline shapes. And we'll go back in. You can see it counting down from four seconds Circle. here. We've had one question so far. And now they are the outlines of the shapes. Yes. You see it counting down. Circle. Now if we get it wrong. Wrong. Keep trying. Circle. And so on. So I'm going to go back out to the menu and just show you the last type of shape, which is objects. Circle. So this now comes up with uh, familiar objects, uh, in this case a waffle and a pizza. Good job. And we're Way still looking go. for the circle and the shape. Circle. Right. Okay, so let's head back out and change some other things. We'll go back to solid shapes and um, what you can do once you go through this, it recommends once you become familiar with a shape is to introduce another shape. 
uh, another wrong shape and see if you can still get that. So let's introduce the heart and uh, let's also increase the number of cards to give you an idea. We'll put it up to six. Okay, so let's go back in. Now you can see there are six cards on the screen. Circled. We'll make it a light background. So six cards on the screen and we're still looking for the circle but we've introduced another wrong shape which is the heart. So now we have the hearts and the squares showing up. Right. Way to go. Circle. Incorrect. Keep trying. Circle. Good job. And I'm just going to go through these to show you what happens when we get Circle. to the end of the test. If we wrong. get some right and Please some try wrong. Again. And again, this time in between the tests Circle. or in between the questions can be changed uh, to increase or decrease. You also see the number counting down from 60 seconds in the top right hand corner. We set that at 60, but that can also be set to 20 seconds or 30 seconds, depending on how uh, competent the child is at performing the tasks or what is, what is a comfortable situation, of course. Yes, I knew you could do it. So you can see we're on, we're on number six of ten. Not right. We've got three correct. Circle correct. Circle right. Circle right. You are so smart. And last question. Circle. Yes. Way to go. So it gives us a result, uh, 7 out of 10, which is 70%. As you go through this, you'll be able to um, view the log uh, once you build up some data. So, so far, 70% bend, circle, verse, heart, and square. That would continue to build as you go through different shapes and so on. Um, but certainly a very, very useful program. A lot of... Um, uh, different sh uh, uh, shapes to go through. So if we, for example, made that the sphere and um, introduce some of these shapes, I'll just show you the difference on the graphic. Sphere. Okay, so a little bit more complex, a 3D shape, uh, and we're looking for the sphere. So you don't just get to learn basic shapes, you get to learn a little bit more complex shapes as well as the graphic of that shape. Um, the fade button is used Sphere. To highlight the, the answer, um, it will be put down as a, a, a that you needed a cool uh, hint. Um, but if you don't know the answer Sphere. or the child can't get it, you would press the fade Sphere. and it would it would pop, and then he would be yes. like or she would be I like, yes, that's you could do it. That's the one. So that's how that works. But this is uh, a great program. The way it works, it's uh, by Dr. Gary Brown. Discrete trial training, and uh, this one is called Shapes.